Tom Tomato. Tom Tomato is one of the munch bunch. He lives in a flower pot next door to Pete Pepper. Tom is a very kind and lovable tomato. He likes to help his munch bunch friends whenever he can. He is also a very tidy tomato. He keeps his own house very neat and tidy, but he does have one teeny weeny problem. Every time he helps his friends, something seems to go wrong. And his munch bunch friends love him so much that they just can't say no when he offers to help them. Today was Saturday, and Saturday is the day that Tom always goes to help his friends. He went to see Susie Celery in her oil can home. Hello Susie, called Tom. Can I help you with your work? <clears throat> Susie didn't like to say no, so she let Tom do her washing for her. Tom rubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and rubbed until he thought the washing was clean. Then he hung the washing on the linen line to dry. Susie was horrified. Tom had put all the washing into the same tub. Red tablecloths, blue towels, green scarves. And they had all changed their colour to a horrible muddy brown. He called to see Olive, who lived in a stone jar. She was very pleased to see Tom, because her kettle had just broken. I'll soon fix that, Tom said. And in no time at all, he had taken the kettle to pieces. Then he put it back together again with all the pieces upside down. Olive decided to make a pot of tea. She plugged the kettle in. Bang! Crackle! Pop! Poor Tom, he had done it wrong again. Next, Tom went to see Corny Corn on the cob. Corny was very busy in his garden. Hello Corny, said Tom. Can I help you, you do your gardening? Corny was very proud of his garden, so he let Tom cut the grass. Tom was very pleased. He thought it was great fun. But Tom didn't just cut the grass, he cut the flowers as well. Poor Tom, he just can't seem to get anything right. Tom went to see Sally Strawberry. Sally was busy painting when he arrived. Can I help you Sally? Tom asked. Sally was just about to go for her afternoon tea with Lizzie Leak. So she asked Tom to clean her paints and brushes for her. Poor Tom, he didn't know that he should clean each tube of paint one at a time. He put them all in the bowl together in soapy water. The colours all mixed together. Sally's paints had all turned black and the hair had fallen out of her brushes because Tom had left them for too long. That's another job well done, Tom said. Then he went home. When Tom got home, he was very tired. He found a book which his munch bunch friends had left for him. The book was called How to Wash Linen and Mend Kettles and Cut Grass and Clean Paints. Perhaps Tom will help his friends properly next time. The end.